A female jogger was severely beaten and raped. Four or five kids who got caught up in the justice system. 30 years later, we're exonerated. Even though we were exonerated, it was still a hard battle. The video of you with the coerced confession is, is there for people to see, and it's, you, you were so young in it. Yes, I was 14 years old. Did yeah. you even know what they were saying to you? No. I mean, as a 14-year-old kid, a lot of that stuff goes over your head. Mm -hmm. Like when, you know, they read you the Miranda rights. I mean, stuff like that doesn't make sense to a 14-year-old kid. So Antoine was raping her. Now, what were you doing? None. Oh, come on, Ray. I mean, no one's going to believe a kid like you would just stand there. you got to put yourself in there. No, no, no. Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? Put yourself in there. Stop. He was stop. there. You didn't hear what he just said? Stop. stop. I made a deal. He doesn't know to really take every line seriously, like you have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say will be used against you in the court of law. When they see us, it's the reality. It's the reality because it comes from us. This is our story. This is our narrative. Um, and that's what we wanted the folks to see because people, this is a 30 year history and people uh, will say, well, we know the story. We know everything that happened and they really don't. The film wouldn't have actually been made if it wasn't for, for your tweet. <laughs> Tell us about that. But I just felt like I, I had nothing to lose. And it was me taking my shot. And it was like, I would be more upset if I didn't shoot the tweet, yeah. right? And then it's a what if. And so I said, the most you can do is not tweet it or not respond, that's it. I just want to know what that felt like at the time if you, when you had heard about it. Well, being 14, it, it kind of went over my head. It wasn't until I got a little bit older that I understood. Um, and he was the fire starter. Um, he was the person who, he made it okay for us to see, receive death threats. He made it okay for, um, for people to look at us a certain way. Um, that was his role. And you see, like, he still perpetuates that role till today, so nothing has changed. Does that so, bother you? No. I mean, the only thing for me is that um, we have been telling people since 1989 who this man was. Now the whole world gets to see it, and we just sit back and we go, we told you. That's it. That's all. Do you spend your life looking over your shoulder? Do you get worried if you get stopped by the police? I, I think there was at one point. Now there isn't. Um, because I have been stopped by police in my car, speeding or whatever. And, and the interaction is totally different, you know? I mean, if I'm speeding, I'm speeding. I deserve a ticket. Um, so even my ideology on the police, on the outlook, is totally different. We did it know, take a while to get to that stage? Yes, it did. We know that there's not all, we know that the whole police department is not bad. There's just some bad apples that need to be taken out. And if you feel cynical about the police, then do something. Go into the academy, become an officer, change the scope. Right, become you know a uh, uh, chief, captain, change the rules. That's 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 what change is about.